today's tutorial about we're going to learn how to create forms uh, in Microsoft Access 2010. It's very easy guys, uh, you just follow my steps and I'll take you through. Uh, this tutorial may be longer than I thought I think, uh, but there will be a part 2 of this video. Uh, if this tutorial uh, is longer than the required length of the video for YouTube. Uh, so guys, uh, let's get started. Uh, we're going to open up Microsoft Access 2010. Uh, when you open, as usual, guys, I've told you this before. Uh, this is the window you see. Uh, we want to open what we've been working on uh, for the past days because uh, we've been working on Microsoft Access. I'll just open one of my tutorial project I've been working with and you might be familiar with. Uh, you might be familiar with this with this project uh, this is what we did uh, a few days ago uh, this tutorial uh, we want to create forms uh, where the database is controlled by a form uh, to do this is very easy guys you just follow my steps and I'll take you through each and every steps what you need to do guys uh, is to create to go and create uh, when you hit to create there'll be a lot of options at the top uh, they all do with the tables and with the designs and the forms and the reports and all this uh, what we want to do uh, is to create a form wizard uh, which is here at the top uh, a form wizard uh, when you click on the form wizard button uh, you will see this table uh, this form dialog uh, basically gives a choice of what you want to show up uh, in the form. What we want to do uh, is to click uh, on the field one and just move this, uh, just four of them. Uh, you can move as much as you want on this. The next thing you do guys, if you select everything that you want to appear in the form, uh, you hit the next button and here make sure you choose the column uh, button uh, checkbox, uh, make sure it's checked, uh, leave the button 3, uh, it don't matter, uh, it doesn't concern us. Uh, we want to make sure this is checked and we hit next. Uh, when you hit next, uh, you will see there's been option to choose the the file them I'll just name it form my form uh, you name it whatever you want and you hit modify design and hit finish uh, you will notice there will be this window uh, this is the form uh, you can do anything anything that you want in this form uh, you can do anything I repeat you can do anything uh, please subscribe to the video if you enjoy it so far and please check out more videos let's continue uh, you can change the header uh, the header uh, the, the tile the header background uh, you do this by right clicking on the header and click on fill color uh, there will be this arrow here uh, when you point highlight on it uh, it gives you the more colors uh, we want to choose the blue one and we want to right click on the body as well and we want to fill the color with this color and that's all there is to it guys uh, you just save your form and you are done really guys uh, thank you very much guys for listening to this tutorial uh, thank you very much uh, see you next time oh before we go uh, let's just see how the form is like now uh, as you can see uh, the form is really really good now uh, it's showing the field uh, this may be the name or uh, we have to edit the field I'll just show you uh, when we edit when we edit this field thing these field headings uh, to whatever the bottom bit is about uh, you will notice uh, the form will have the name whatever here it is saying whatever these are filled now filled one two three are just examples for this tutorial thank you very much guys for listening to this tutorial uh thank you uh please subscribe to the channel more tutorials to yet to come and check out more videos that have been 
uploaded before. Thank you very much, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bless.